This is just an incredible yeah. story, Jim. The family tells me that before they were found today, the Coast Guard tells me that they lost the sailors or lost sailors could have been anywhere in a 21,000 square mile radius. That's about half the size of Pennsylvania. Fortunately, it was sailors from another ship who found the men waving for help. So it's actually unbelievable that they survived that long. A sense of relief for Nina Di Tommaso and her family when they got word that her dad had been found safe after getting lost at sea for several days. The last few days have been so stressful, um, you know, especially because it's such a long period of time for him to be gone. Her dad, 76-year-old Joe Di Tommaso, and his friend, 65-year-old Kevin Hyde, both from Cape May, were found 214 miles off the coast of Delaware Tuesday afternoon. The two had left Cape May on November 27th, sailing to Marathon, Florida in the Keys. But the last time anyone heard from them was December 3rd after leaving from Oregon Inlet in North Carolina. I got a voicemail from him on December 3rd and it was like really fuzzy. It kind of cut in and out. Um, but at one point the voicemail said like all is well. His daughter says her dad is known for losing his phone and didn't think much of it when he didn't call for several days. But after a week, the family became worried and a friend called the Coast Guard on Sunday. Whatever happened uh, is yet to be determined. Coast Guard ships and planes as well as Navy ships were in search of the missing 30-foot sailboat in a 21,000 square mile area from North Carolina, the last place family had contact with them. A call was also put out to vessels on the ocean to be on the lookout, and it was a giant tanker ship named the Silva Muna that found the men waving their hands from a distressed boat. It was a large coming together of everybody from the from the maritime community to, to help find them. My friends and everyone was saying, if anyone's going to survive this, it's Joey Tomatoes. That's his nickname. So, you know, thank God our prayers are answered, and we just keep saying it's a Christmas miracle because it's really unbelievable. And the family tells me that both men are experienced boaters, but they still don't know exactly what happened yet. The men were cold and tired when they were found, but right now they are still on that tanker ship en route to New York where the family's going to meet up with them sometime tomorrow. Wow. But just an incredible story. What an ordeal, Johnny. Yeah. We're glad they're going to be okay. And the daughter tells me that her dad's not allowed back on a boat for a while. Yeah, that's yeah. coming from daughter to that's dad. That's right. That's right. I bet. All right, Johnny, thank you.